Hi, my name is Detroit Miracle, and I am here to talk about the New World Order. Many people have a misconception about that very thing, which is the New World Order. Because when you tell them about that, which is in regards to something which is expanding and encompassing, they assume that it means their whole lives are just going to change for the worse or better. They mean, they think that it means that it's something that involves a complete turnaround to society and their very way of existing in general, but that is not the case because there has been many types of new world orders all throughout history. And that has happened on a global scale. And then there has been many types of new world orders existing at the same very time all over the world. I know then people are like, well, if I have a misconception about the new world order, what does it really mean? Well, a new world order could result from a change in presidency where one president elect is replaced with another president elect. And think about it. If it was a democratic president in a mostly democratic Congress, and then it changes to a Republican president with a muchly Republican Congress, then that is an indication that there is a new established world order. Yes. And that is one clear, obvious example of it. But when you tell people about the new world world order, they're like, oh, it's going to be a change in life. It's going to be martial law. It's going to be imposed curfews and things like that. No, that ain't necessarily so or the case. That is what the new world order is. And a, another example of the new world order is a change from a republic or change from a Republican Republic into a imperial dictatorship. Like when um, a long time ago, the Roman Empire was not an empire, but rather a Republican in which they elected two councils every two years. And then when Julius Caesar had an idea to proclaim himself emperor or dictator for life, he set a precedence or a trend in which many men would follow after his death. So his uh, nephew proclaimed himself Augustus Caesar and transformed the Roman Republic into the Roman Empire. So that was a obvious harrowing or coming of the new world order to that very society and that that order which was established would go on and continue on for hundreds of years until the roman empire was obviously defeated and broken at some point and then there would be another established new world order but only in that region of the world because we know in china and japan there was emperors and kings who controlled the affairs of the people there and which saw them as a sovereignty or saw them as sovereignties and royalties so those people over in the furthest east was living under that new world order concept. Then if you go to, if you find any piece of the world 
is li that's living a particular way under a controlled order, then that can be referred to as a new world order. If at some point there was a change in um, leadership, you know, like from one leader to another where one person controlled much and then another person would replace that person at some point and establish his own or her own way of rule. Yes. Well, I gave everyone something new to think about. So please drop those likes, comments, and up those subscriptions to Detroit Miracle.